Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This video is to teach you how to export your materials with the latest versions of Wallworm. This model has one material with two textures. The first thing that I need to get across here is that there's a difference between a material and a texture. It took me a while to understand this when I first got into 3D several years ago. And due to the type of emails that I get, I realize that it's something that's also confusing to a lot of other new people. So in this schematic view of our material, we have the material, which here it says standard. It's a standard material. This material takes many types of textures, has many slots for textures, including the diffuse, the bump, and other things. And in this material, we're only using a diffuse texture and a bump texture. That's important to learn. The way this works is when Wallworm does the exporting, this material is going to export into source as a VMT, the valve material. This bitmap texture and this bitmap texture will export as VTFs, the textures. Again, this equates to the VMT, this equates to the VTF. In the current versions of Wallworm, the VMT that gets exported is always going to be based off of the name of the material, this node right here, not the file name of the bitmap, which is over here. So if we want the material to be front gate, if we want the VMT to be named that, we go over here to the material name and change it to front gate. So now when we do the exporting, there will be a VMT named frontgate.vmt. The output path of the VMT is always based off of the model's material path. The output path of bitmap nodes, these guys over here, map one and map two, is not based off of that. It is based off of the name of the bitmap node. So let's double click this map one. And if I want to put this VTF into a certain folder, what I do is put the relative path as its name. In this case, we'll do models. And I'm going to copy that and paste it down to this one. So what this is saying is this bitmap, which is going to be front gate diffuse map dot VTF when it exports, is going to be exported to a folder called models wallworm sacrilege. That's where this VTF will get exported to. So now that I have my material set up how I want, with the name of my VMT, the material, and the paths to where these VTFs get exported to, the materials are all set up and ready to go. So in Wallworm, what I would do is open up the Wallworm model tools, pick my model, set the material path for this model. At this point, I can export the materials. If I hit this button, I'm going to see this dialog. And notice the path to where the VMT is going to be is based off of the path of the material folder for this model. And then the name of the VMT is again based off of the name of the material, front gate, the name of the material. The name of the VTFs is based off of the file names of the TGAs. So if I double click this again, you'll see front gate diffuse map dot TGA will become front gate diffuse map dot VTF and the same with the normal map. And the path to these bitmaps where they're going to export to in the materials of source is based off of the node name. So for here, it's models wallworm sacrilege, which came from the node name of that bitmap models wallworm sacrilege. There is a utility button right here. If you click these buttons, it will set the bitmap node name to match the material path. Now the reason I've separated these is this allows you to reuse the same BTFs in multiple models and or between world textures and model textures. And these checkboxes here, they're checked by default, letting you know that these files at the target output directories do not yet exist. If they did exist, they would be unchecked, and if you wanted to overwrite them, you would have to check these again. Now at this point, I can export these textures by clicking this button, and it's going to export all the materials and the VMT. Finally, you have to export the model itself, and we'll do that with this button. 
and it's been exported. And we can view our, our uh, model here, and there's the textures. And now I'm going to break the textures just to explain something that's very common. I'm going to go into Slate here, and I'm going to change the name of this material to Front Gate 1. So I changed the name of the material used in this model, but I'm not going to re-export this name, this material. But I am going to re-export the model. At this point, if I refresh the model, you're going to see it has purple and black textures. And the reason that this happens is, when I exported this model, the internal workings of it is assuming that the material name, the VMT, is going to exist that's named Front Gate 1 but that VMT doesn't exist. Since I changed the name to front gate one, I then have to re-export the VMT. And the checkbox is here because it says that that file does not currently exist. These are not checked because those files do already exist. I already exported them. So I'm gonna export the VMT here, and now I'm gonna refresh my model. And there's my material. This is very important. Every single time you change the name of a material, or any time you change the material folder path for a model, and then you export the model, you also then need to re-export the VTFs and the VMTs. And finally, I need to point out that this setup is dependent on you using the Wallworm SMD exporter. If you go to Wallworm settings, you'll see what exporter you're using. Right here, I was using the Wallworm SMD exporter. If, for example, I'm using the Wonder Boy or Cannon Fodder SMD exporters, then this setup does not work. And in that case, you should turn on these legacy text names and legacy VTF to make it work like traditional exporters and expect the materials and bitmaps to be named and structured the legacy way that those exporters expect. But for Wallworm, I suggest not turning these on and using the method that I just demonstrated. My name is Sean Olson. You can learn more about me at my website, seanolson.net, and you can always get the latest version of Wallworm at wallworm.com. Thank you and have a good day.